Whenever I talk about veganism, I usually focus on the idea of suffering and how we should reduce suffering. But it happens to come with a health aspect. And so anyways, I um, I know that I could be healthier. I know that I could be in better shape. And when people want to see an example of when, what somebody that eats a, a well-balanced plant-based vegan diet, I want to be able to show them that example. And so me, I am not that example. I'm five foot 10 and I weigh about 240 pounds. I should actually probably weigh about somewhere between 160, 170 and, uh, you know, maybe even 180. So anyways, I am going to start working towards getting very healthy and uh, losing weight and building muscle and getting in good shape to be a good example of what could happen when you eat a good diet. And so I think, I think this is very important for uh, sharing veganism. I don't think everybody needs to do it, but I want to. I want to. Um, I'm starting tomorrow, March 1st. I'm going to eat as healthfully as I can. I'm going to eat a lot of raw, fresh things, uh, lots of fruit, uh, bananas, apples, mangoes, bananas, all the things, or I said bananas twice. Um, anyways, uh, you know, lots of veggies. Um, I, I don't need things to be fancy. I don't need meals to uh, be like prepared in any way. I actually just like eating random things. Like I can just take a head of lettuce, rip off a, a leaf and just eat it like that. Um, <laughs> people think I'm weird that I do that. Um, but anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to eat a lot of, uh, greens like that. I'm going to eat, uh, carrots, various things. Um, a lot of raw, uh, fresh stuff. I'm also going to eat, uh, cooked beans. I'm going to eat a lot of beans. And anyways, I, I do a handful of supplements, uh, B12, uh, vitamin D and, uh, omega threes in, uh, algae, algae uh, supplements. So that's about it for the supplements. Um, I have some for iodine. I do dulse seaweed. I'm also going to do some like whole food grains, uh, do brown rice. I might do some teff, uh, some quinoa, stuff like that. But yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not only doing beans, grains, and then raw, you know, I'll also probably make some soups where I like chop up some veggies, put them, put them in a soup, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to eat as clean as I can, just, um, you know, as organic as I can, as uh, GMO free as I can, but I'm not going to do like protein powders. I'm not going to do anything like that, but I'm going to eat really clean. I'm going to try to drop the weight and I'm going to, you know, work out like a calisthenic type, uh, you know, pushups, pull-ups, squats, that kind of thing. Uh, go hiking when I can, just get out, enjoy nature, and uh, hopefully I can get really fit. I have I have no intention of being like a bodybuilder or anything like that, but I want to be able to show that I can be really fit and healthy, not eating animals. Uh, hopefully that'll be a good example. I I don't I don't want to make that a big part of my channel. I don't I don't have any interest in there being a focus of that. But I do want to get out and do some like street activism, mostly in the sense of how like uh, Earthling Ed does, where he'll go out and do a change my mind type table and sit down and talk with non-vegans about veganism. I would like people to look at me and think like, okay, I at least can't make fun of or challenge that the diet works for looking healthy. I don't want somebody to say, well, if you're saying you can get the right nutrients and be healthy on a vegan diet, then why are you 50 pounds overweight? And in some cases people are underweight and then people will say, oh, if you eat vegan diet, then you're a stick thin twig or whatever. I have a tough time staying away from really good tasting like meat alternatives, like a impossible meat, beyond burgers, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so anyways, there's so many vegan foods that are very unhealthy. I want to stay away from those things. So again, that doesn't affect the ethics of it. Uh, you can eat very unhealthy food and be unhealthy yourself, but you're not harming animals. And that's great if that's what you want to do, but you will live a shorter life and you'll be more miserable during that life. Uh, but again, that's up to you, but I don't want that. I, I want to when I'm older, I want to be able, you know, I want to be an 80 year old doing backflips and hanging out with the grandkids and the great grandkids and running around playing, being healthy. And I want that to come across to others. I, re I, I think that's a benefit for the animals. Uh, so I'm going to stop rambling and, uh, 
anyways, I'd, I'd uh, love anybody's support. I'm going to do updates. I'm going to do video updates where maybe once a week or every two weeks, I'll do an update to show that I've stuck to it, to point out like maybe how much weight I've lost. I don't plan on really doing before and after pictures or anything like that until maybe uh, the end of it, maybe after like six months or a year just to show what has happened. But, uh, but yeah, any encouragement is great. And keeping up and reminding me and holding me accountable would be uh, fantastic. But again, this is not going to be a big focus of the channel. I this That's not the type of content I really want to make. I want to make content that's more challenging and uh, breaking down ideas, analyzing ideas. And uh, this is just something extra. I think this is a good thing that um, one could do for animals. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. But yeah, take care. See you in the next one.